This video explains about experiment 4 on the preparation of diethyl fumarate. The figure shows the overall reaction equation for this reaction. These are the chemicals needed for this experiment. Weigh 3 gram diethyl malleate in 50 ml round bottom flask. Weigh 0.05 gram of iodine. Add iodine into the round bottom flask that containing diethyl malleate. This is the mixture of iodine and diethyl malleate. Clamp the round bottom flask and add boiling chips into it. Connect the hose and check the water flow. Reflux the mixture for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, allow the reaction mixture to cool down at room temperature. Pour the reaction mixture into a separatory funnel using a filter funnel. Measure 25 ml ether at the fume hood. Rinse the round bottom flask using ether and pour it into separatory funnel. Pour the remaining ether into the separatory funnel and observe the formation of two layers. Close the separatory funnel and swirl it. Observe the formation of two layers. Run off the aqueous layer. Measure 40 ml of 5% sodium thiosulfate solution at the film hood. Pour the solution into the separatory funnel. Repeat 
the final shaking step. Collect the organic layer in a beaker. Add sufficient amount of anhydrous magnesium sulfate into the organic layer. Stir the solution using glass rod. Filter the solution using filter paper into a vial. Evaporate off the solvent using a hot plate. Thin layer chromatography is a method for analyzing mixture by separating the compounds in the mixture. This is the setup for TLC using an aluant of diethyl ether and petroleum ether at ratio of 2 to 8. Using a spotter, spot the solution on the TLC plate. This is the TLC plate after spot the product and dye till malleate. Put the TLC plate into the beaker containing aluant. Observe the development of aluant on the TLC plate. Observe the spot under the UV light and circle the spot. This is the spot observed. Calculate the RF value for the spots observed. 